Hello everyone and welcome to another All in Park Tiny Painting Corner. Today we have a summer's evening. Here's the little painting we're going to be painting right here. And here are the items that you're going to need. We have our cup of soapy water, of course, featuring the boys. Our palette of paint. And we also have our three paint brushes here. And we have the paper towel, of course, and the canvas itself. To start off, we are going to be using the flat brush to paint the sky. We are first going to wet the brush and then dab off the excess water. And then we're going to dip into our darkest blue. We're gonna start off with short strokes at first, and then we are going to switch into longer ones that span from one end of the canvas to the other. Once you've exhausted the paint on your brush, add some more of the dark blue. We are only going to go halfway on the canvas for the sky and leave a bit of an arc on the bottom right half of the sky blank. We're going to get this dark blue off by just sweeping it across the paper towel. We're going to want more of a dry stroke for this part. We're going to dip into the lighter blue and starting from the bottom left we're going to make short strokes across the sky and then we're going to blend it out with longer strokes. Once we added the light blue without cleaning off the brush, we're going to go back into the dark blue and use the same short strokes we've been using to add some darkness into the sky. So now we're going to wipe off this mixture color off the brush and go into the darker blue. And we're going to make sure we're going to lightly dab this blue so we don't take off the lighter color. This means you have to use a little bit more paint than we did before. Using the short stroke technique that we used before, we're going to blend out the sky with this darker blue. If you have some globs of paint on the side, you can smooth it out, but the sky should look like this. And next, we're going to add the setting sun. So we're going to fully clean off our flat brush, and we're also going to dab off the excess water. And then we are going to dip into our yellow color. In the bottom half of the sky, you will very lightly, almost using the tip of the brush, to add the yellow. You want to almost form a mound in the shape of the yellow in the sky. So you're going to want to clean off your brush completely and also get rid of that excess water as we always do. And we're going to dip into our orange color. And with the lightest of strokes, you barely want to touch your canvas as you make short quick strokes amongst the yellow. We're only going to be adding a few lines. We're going to go through the routine of cleaning off the brush in the water again. And then we're going to take that dry brush with no paint and blend out the yellow and the orange with the same light quick strokes that we used on the orange. It should feel like you're flicking the brush. Next we are going to switch to our medium brush and make sure the tip has some point to it and if it doesn't you want to dip it into the water and soften it and use your thumb and index finger to smooth it out to a point. But we're going to use the white next to make our clouds. Using a light circular motion we are going to form the clouds in the sky. Note that it's okay if it starts to blend in with the blue, that's exactly what we want. But once the white is near gone, we're going to add more to the brush. 
And we're also going to use small swirling motions to get the shape of the cloud as well. Our base of our cloud should look like this. We're going to take the paint that's still on the brush and use the tip to make short light strokes under the cloud to brighten up the sky. And then we're going to clean that brush off to use for later. Next we're going to be switching back into our flat brush, so make sure that that is fully clean before you use it. We are going to be dipping into the light blue. And with this light blue, we're going to draw a diagonal line on the blank half of the canvas going in an upward motion from left to right. And then we're going to start to fill in the water part. You can use any stroke pattern you want for this because it's just the base color, but I like to use the tip of the brush using a light sweeping motion, the same one that we use for the sky. Cleaning off the brush on the paper towel, we're going to dip into the white. And using this wipe, we are going to pat it along the edge of the border between the sky and the water. We are going to use the same technique in the middle of the water, and we're going to use that for two lines. We're going to add more white lines, but we're going to use more fluid strokes. And then once we have those, we're going to start blending them out. We're going to use quick back and forth strokes as if you're shading something in with a pencil. So we're going to clean off this brush completely and we're going to set it aside for later. Next, we're going to go back to this medium brush and we're going to go in with the dark blue. We're just going to dot the tip in and we're going to add some streaks of dark blue into the water. And as we do this, it's going to naturally blend out. So that's what our water looks like and we're going to clean this brush off and set it aside for later. Next we're going to start painting our grass. For the grass we're going to use our flat brush and we're going to dip into the screen here. For the grass around the base we will use a normal stroke but for the texture we will dab the brush on the canvas in a jabbing like motion. This will create the texture of fluffy grass. Next, we're going to add black to deepen the color. We're going to be very light with this, just adding little black dots along the grass. If we add too much, it's going to overpower the green. Once the little dots of black are added, we're going to clean off the brush on the paper towel. And then we're going to blend out the black and green by using the same dabbing stroke as we used before.
Next, we are going to go and make our little background trees. And to make our background trees, we're going to need to use our small detail brush. We're going to dip into our black. And to make our background trees, we're going to use the tiniest strokes, almost dots, in the shape of triangles. They could be skinny, they could be a little thicker, they could be shorter or taller. It's however you like it. Once we have finished our trees, we're going to make a running line at the base where it touches the water using a feather light stroke. And we're going to add a few more detailings to the trees as we do these little lines. So next we're going to add a little bit more detailing into the sun. So we're going to have to clean off the brush completely in the water and we're going to dip this detail brush into the yellow so we could brighten up the sky a little bit. Using a small back and forth stroke we are going to add some more yellow into the sky and be careful not to cover the trees. So we are going to get that orange coloring back, so we're going to dot into the orange and very lightly streak the orange across the yellow, and as you do that it will naturally blend out as well. Cleaning off the brush, we're going to add a bit of white to the border between the trees and the water. It'll fog the harsh black to blue into a more seamless blend. Next, we're going to get back to the clouds since they had some time to dry. We're going to go back into the white and add brighter white swirls amongst the clouds. For a blend we're going to use the light blue and we're going to follow the same circular swirling motion on top of the white.
you may find that you have too much of the blue in your paintbrush so I recommend cleaning it off in the water and going back in with the white so you have a little bit more of the white color that we wanted. I'm going to dab off some of the blue on the paper towel and I'm going to go back into the white so I can add a bit more texture to the cloud so it could be much brighter. To blend in the sky, we're going to use the tip of the flat brush dipped into the darker blue to lightly feather the blue within the clouds. It is important to not be heavy in this section. And there we have our sky done. Next we're going to add the tree using the medium brush and the black. We are going to add the tree in the right hand corner of the grass. As the base we will have the trunk and a few connecting branches. Along where the branches lie you're going to add little black dots that are going to be the leaves. They're going to be extending outwards. It could go past where the branch is but the branch is just there to act as a placement base. I do my branches by making upward flicks. They're simple, quick lines. They don't have to be very uniform. They're just in the location where I would like my leaves to go. As you can see, my leaves are just tiny little dots in the area where I have my branches. And we're gonna want the top of the tree to reach the top of the canvas. And for the expansion of the branches, we want it to be right at the edge of where the background trees are. Using a light up and down stroke, we're going to expand our trunk at the bottom. It's okay if the tree isn't that visible, it's supposed to look like a tree at night, almost a shadow. Okay, so now we're going to get our detail brush and we're going to add our last addition to the landscape and those are the lights and the lightning bugs. Using the detail brush, we're going to paint a black line that's going to be a few steps from the ending left corner of the grass to the tree.
and then we're going to add a small line connecting from the left corner to the break of the water. Using the medium brush, we are going to make the lights going into our yellow color. Make sure you wet and clean the brush first. To make the lights, we're going to make an elongated teardrop shape, and we're going to paint the lights on the line. As you paint the lights on the line, you're going to get smaller the more right you go. For the small line, make three small teardrop lights in each smaller than the other. For the lightning bugs, we're just going to paint yellow dots along the landscape. You can make them as small or as large as you want them, and you could put as many as you want. To lighten them up, use the medium brush and dip into the white and dot the white with the yellow. Next, we're going to add the glow. After cleaning off the medium brush and getting it dry, we are going to dip into the yellow. And you can either on your paper towel or on the lid of your paint pot, get rid of some of the yellow. We are going to be lightly shading around the lights and this will add the glowing effect. Next, we are going to add a second coat of yellow onto the lights.
So moving on to our next part, we're going to be using the small detail brush and we're going to add black into a semicircle or a rounded line as the connector between the lights and the line. We're going to go back to our medium brush and for the glow around the fireflies we are going to mix the yellow and white together. And we're going to be using the same stroke technique as we did for the lights. to dip into the yellow and add a little bit of it within the light glow and then add a little bit more yellow into the lightning bugs themselves so they could stand out. And there we have our finished landscape here. And the only part we need to do next is to do the border. For the sides of this one, I just like to paint it simply black. I'm gonna use my thumb and index finger to hold the canvas in between the wooden back base. And I'm going to use the flat brush and paint the edges black. You don't have to use any particular stroke pattern for this, just whichever one works best for you for painting the corners. And there we have it, our finished summer night's painting. I hope you guys all enjoyed it and you had a really good time. Bye!